So I'll just uh, have a little look at my stuff and... Was that the doorbell? Like, um... God, this has got to be the most awkward way of getting through a ladder ever. It would be nice if I could check outside, but we've had some extensive creeper damage. I think it was a doorbell. Oh, great. Someone's delivered me some mail. Oh, let's go back inside and see what this is. And... So, what the hell's this? Um, the 1.9 update. I've not been keeping up. So what can we do? Advanced farming. Is that really a combine harvester in the top corner? You can't build a combine harvester in Minecraft, can you? Right, so, <coughs> in my reading voice, this update brings you new features, a few new features. Uh, I'll just read this any which way around I want, that you can use to make your building and decorating even better. It includes two new flowers, in brackets, Lily of the Flowey, 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 Lily of the Lally, Vlally, the, blah, 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 a cornflower. New wood types for signs, and tons of new stairs. Should that be T-O-N-N-E-S? I mean, I know I'm borderline dyslexic, but I think I can spell. Tons of new stairs, slabs, and walls! It had an explanation mark, what was I supposed to do? Uh, we've also added a button to, po to the pause menu to make it easier for you to go in and share and upvote ideas on what you'd like to see in the game. Report bugs or get help. I need help. I desperately need help. We've also fixed a lot of the bugs that you reported to us on bugs.mojack.com. This game would lose all its character if it didn't have bugs. Like all the time I've been trying to farm bamboo that won't grow. For Realms owners, we've added the ability to play worlds with features from the Education Edition toggle. If you've stopped playing, if you've stopped playing a realm, you can now delete expired realms from your world list. Blah 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 You can read this. Okay, that's my mail sorted. Well, hi guys, we're back. It's James Keeling, and we are here again. This is not an episode, it's a short video update, because I've had a, a couple of issues with, um, well, when do I not have issues? As regards um, recording the game. Do you like my doggy? I'm going to feed him seeds. He's strictly on a, uh, a vegan diet now. Right, let's go out of our only remaining doors as the sun sets. I feel the need to edit. And let's have a look. We are not on 24 subscribers anymore. We're on 28. Thank you so much for the four that joined. I wish I knew who you were. You're lovely. And what have we been up to? I should go a bit of a third person mode. We've been messing around with some concrete. We know this. And we made a bamboo machine. We know this. And what we've been doing mainly, and I've got bamboo. Will it grow? No, it won't. Uh, finding bamboo on this world is difficult because this world doesn't generate bamboo. I know, I cheated. I got some from the, uh, from the, uh, what is it? The creative world inventory. So what we've been doing. So we've got a pair of stairs, a pair of stairs, a staircase up to what's going to be the new ground floor of my, uh, build. Um, we put some, um, some, um, glowstone down and some quartz in order to make it look nice. I don't know if we're going to keep the diorite floors. Uh, we haven't shifted the um, <clears throat> never portal. And this is where we showcased a bit of redstone and did some redstone building. And what we're doing is we're trying to build quite a massive place. Let's have a look. We're going all the way down to bedrock level 6. Uh, that's the level just before bedrock starts. And if you look what we're doing, we're taking the idea of a 9 by 9 house so that we don't have to put torches on the floor. I know we have done here, that's just because I'm lazy. And we're scaling up so we've got three sections of 9 by 9 by three sections of 9 by 9. Making this an... not an 18 by 18, a 36 by 36? I don't know maths. So we've been working on chiseling all that out, and as you can see, that's the central pillar, which was once early in the game, the mine shaft. And we've been going down here, and is this level 26? Uh... This is 36, we don't need to be here. But as you can see, we're doing what we can. It's chewing through diamond axes like there's no tomorrow. And then what we've got here is the monster spawner room. Now, monsters spawn by the idea of they're going to spawn in darkness and I'm going to have a system of water flow blocks which flow in the direction of my cursor. 
and push mobs unsuspectedly into this hole. Now, if I fall down that hole, I'm dead. I don't feel like doing that because I'll have to pick up all of my rubbish. So, they go down that chute, which is currently made out of glass just for kicks, because what better thing to build something that needs to be structurally sound than out of glass? And we go all the way down to level six. They'll land on this platform, and depending on how high I have this platform, if it's 20 blocks distance, they'll die. If it's like 19, they'll end up with half a heart, and I can kill them with a sword or a fist and claim XP. And then there'll be hoppers either here or the next block down, and they will feed into chests. So that's going to be a giant mob farm. Yes, I am sick. However, the vast majority of the Minecraft world uh, is doing this, so don't blame me. I'm not a sicko. Everybody is. Right then. So, why has there been such a, a hiatus from YouTube? Well, uh, certain things have been happening which have been good. I had to work a lot at work. And I bumped into someone who was amazing. She's become my new girlfriend and we've been living together. But it's not all been a bed of roses. Um, we've been very ill and we've had to look after each other. And we've also had to go out and about and get shopping in and do stuff like that. And then we've had Christmas to deal with. And also, uh, something else that has happened that's really good is that a colleague at work and friend has given me a piece of equipment, a laptop, and I'm learning how to use that for music software and that. So, all in all, it's very good. And I'll talk more about this in later episodes. So I'm going back to my home, which has taken more damage. Creepers just seem to spawn in here for no reason whatsoever. I probably made a mistake. I can just... Get down these ladders instead of sitting on the ladder. Here we go. We've all been down here before. I have died somewhere here, where my cursor is. So there isn't even a map for it, or maybe here. Uh, I was running along and I fell into a ditch. I wish I was recording. And I had a map for here, a map for here, and a map for there. And I think I had a new map for here. Um, oh, excuse me. Just burped tea. Um, I found a jungle biome somewhere over here. Yeah, I didn't find it on this block. I found it, like, millions of miles away. And the reason I cheated is I could not find a jungle biome. The jungle biomes, they look pathetic. I will show you a picture later once I've got it. But what I did was I put the Minecraft seed, the code which tells Minecraft precisely how it's going to generate this world, into a website called Mine Atlas. Oh, excuse me again. And it gave me a very, very accurate, if not fully accurate, world map. Uh, highlighting where jungle biomes are and I was like I was never gonna find them by myself so I found a jungle biome and I didn't find any bamboo let's have a look at bamboo this has been here since the last update because I started this just before the update aquatic I believe and this is bamboo and look at it look at it this is the fastest growing plant in Minecraft this should have grown during the course of um, during the course of the game but because the world is older than the previous updates i don't think this world tells it to grow so if i want bamboo for any reason i'm going to have to cheat some in which is not too bad because i'm playing the rest of the game legitimately and i'm still gonna have to go back to where i died and i don't know where the coordinates are and try and find my uh, materials so the only other thing i've been doing is i've been building my village i've been uh let's go to village right now it's just Take a little trip into hell. A little trip into hell. That always disorientates me, does that? I might do that. Uh, let's see. The North Road. I haven't really done anything there. So I've done the South Road. I want to show you. I know it's very boring what I'm doing at the moment, but I want to show you just how far I've travelled. Every time I travel 150 metres... It's about a thousand in the real world, I believe, or is it 500? I don't know. All I know is that while I'm travelling through the nether, one block's worth of travelling equals eight in the other dimension. So I came out here, and as you can see, I've got little access corridors and pillars to get to the actual nether rack where I've been quartz mining, and then these things. Come here, let's play tennis. No, you missed. You're useless. Go on, let's do it again. Uh, come on. Oh, that should be a fairly accurate one. Yes. I'm not going to stand here all day on a bridge. I'll get knocked into it and I will... Oh, dear. I didn't know a ghast had done that the last time I traveled around here. So, anyway, I'm building this causeway. Building, building, building. I'm just going to go straight past the zombie pigman. 
And I'm trying to put some uh, red nice concrete down in the middle so that we always know what path we're on. And I think I built that last time. And then I got brutally attacked around here and died again because wither skeletons. We all know what wither skeletons are like evil things. Oh, I'm running out of the um, uh, hunger bar, so it's not. 100% safe against withers uh, skeletons around here and another lump missing and then I got to this uh, portal here which was difficult because um, blazes were spawning here and were just knocking me off my bridge so I died several times and then got bored and then you can tell I've, tell I've had a bit of a battle with the ghast here All right, where are we and I arrived here Barring generic planes biome number 842. Uh, are, you, are you serious, man? Go away. You've got, like, the weakest health of any mob in the game apart from farm animals. You're about as useful as a... F oh, you're dead. Right, okay. So, yeah, I have been doing a lot of exploring. A lot of running around and not much to show for it apart from a lack of food, a distinct lack of experience, and I lost all my diamond tools. So, we're going to carry on. And we're going to see what else I can build. Because I'm getting to the stage of the game, if I really wanted to, where I could start thinking about looking for the end. Now, I haven't talked to you about the end, but anybody who's read around these Minecraft videos will know that the end is in an absolutely different dimension to uh, the overworld and the nether. And, um, what is it? Uh, there's a dragon that lives there, and he's very difficult to take apart, apparently. I've, I've done it once on PC version. It took several, several attempts. So just a uh, bludgeoning this creeper with a stone sword because I lost all my diamond tools because I've been playing this game since 2014 and I'm still rubbish. Right. I'm off. Thank you for having a look at the update. And I will be going more in depth when I start the next video. And look at that moon setting. That's lovely. Should we see a nice sunrise before we go? Isn't that beautiful? You're taking too long. Bye-bye now, everybody. I'll be doing an episode in the next few days. Have fun.